bridge one on the Coventry Canal. As one leaves the basin, this is the first bridge you encounter. The old wharf warehouse buildings. It is nice to see today that these buildings do have a new lease of life. There's a canoe club that operates from here, and I believe the Coventry Gazette is run from part of these buildings today. Some of the buildings are still up for sale or up for let, but we have a restaurant here or cafe, and there's a Portuguese store and the hairdressers. There is also mooring here for about seven or eight boats, depending on their size. This picture coming up in a second is a photograph I took of a postcard of an art exhibition that went on here in the basin a couple of days ago. This video was supposed to be about this picture and the art show that was here. Unfortunately, I've had problems with my GoPro and all the files came up as unreadable. Not sure what happened. It shows 84 files on the SD card, but they're not readable. So I put this video together instead. I hope you enjoy it. Most of this is either the Canal Basin or Coventry Cathedral. I will go and visit shortly. You may notice that there is no natural sound actually in a lot of these clips. I still have a problem with my GoPro. I thought it was the SD card originally. It now seems to be recording the picture, but no sound. I guess it's going to be another expense to get that fixed. As I use the GoPro for most of my filming, because it's so easy, especially being a single-handed boater. Anyway, the picture quality is still okay, I think. Oh, and who would live in a boat like that? If you come to Coventry via the canal, by boat, it's quite a simple short walk, actually, to the main town. We leave the basin here, and I go down these steps. There's some road construction going on here, but uh, that doesn't affect us. So here we go. Cross this little road here, which is hardly any traffic on, and go up these steps and go up over the main road here, which does have traffic on. I'm glad to be going over the footbridge. There's ramp access and stair access to this footbridge. And here we have the church and the cathedral spires in the distance. I've got sound back right at the noisy part going over the traffic. Here we have the Philip Larkin pub. He was a poet who wrote under the pseudonym of Burnett Coleman. I can't really find much in the way of a connection though between Coventry and himself. Here we have another pub. This is called the Flying Standard. This is a Weatherspoons pub, so I'm guessing the prices are pretty uh, reasonable in there. I thought I would bring to you the Holy Trinity Church, the, all its magnificence, before we walk around the corner to the old cathedral, which was bombed out during the Blitz. I did think the crows walking in this clip was very synonymous with churches and churchyards. I guess this is just in case you forget what church you're at. Well, that's the Holy Trinity Church. I think it's time we went and found the old cathedral, which I know 
is just around the corner. <laughs> the name of this street is how I feel sometimes. This now leads us quite nicely to the cathedral. And here is the old tower of the cathedral. It has been restored to make it safe again. And you can climb to the top. I believe when it's open, during opening hours, there can be quite a wait due to the current situations. I'm now going to take you on a little tour around the cathedral. I don't know that much about it. I'm afraid I didn't do particularly much research. I've been rather busy and the reason I came to Coventry actually was to uh, pick up a new stove for the boat. So this was sort of run off the boat quickly to do a bit of filming on a nice day. I do know, as I said before, it was bombed during World War II by the Nazis. I assume this was the main way into the cathedral at one time, or the front gate, front door I should say. Still has some of its stained glass in place on this end. Most of the rest was destroyed. As I walk past each stone pillar, I love the way the light comes through, flickers on the camera lens. Well, that concludes my little walk around the ruins of Coventry Cathedral. I hope you enjoyed it. I must admit, there is some fantastic architecture. Doesn't matter if you're religious or not, one has to be amazed by the stonemasons whom created these magnificent buildings. Whoops, I think I went in the out way and out the in way, if that makes sense. Oh, well, there was hardly anyone there. It is very early on a Sunday morning. For the shopaholics amongst you, there are plenty of stores to choose from here in Coventry. I am not going into any of them. I'm going to make my way back to the boats now. There are some very nice flower arrangements here on the streets walking back towards the boats.
Well, that's the little tour of Coventry over now. We're back now at the basin. Don't forget, if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. If you want to help the channel out, consider becoming a member or help on Patreon or a donation via PayPal. That just leaves me to say, thank you very much for watching. Trevor out.